Josie Jewell's story almost didn't happen. The man who turned out to be one of the best Big Ten linebackers of the decade nearly played out his career in the anonymity of Division III. An undersized kid from rural Iowa, raised on an 1,100-acre turkey and cattle farm, Jewell was set to commit to nearby Luther College when a late offer from the home state Hawkeyes set him on a path to greatness. What is the worst farm chore that you had to do? From scrubbing waters uh, for the turkeys when I was really young, that's what we used to do. Probably came to, you know, cleaning out the turkey shed when the turkeys left. Jewel redshirted as a freshman, put on about 40 pounds, and emerged as an occasional starter for the Hawks in 2014. As a sophomore, Jewel became a regular starter on a team that got out of the gate at 12-0 and narrowly missed out on a spot in the college football playoff. That was the first of three straight banner seasons for the Decora, Iowa native, who totaled at least 120 tackles in each of his last three campaigns as a Hawkeye. Trying to fight through Josie Jewell, who finally bring him down. Jewell's final year was his most dominant one. In 2017, he led the Big Ten in tackles with a staggering 136, was Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year, first team All-American, and won the Jack Lambert Award as the nation's top linebacker. Fumble exchange, Iowa falls on it as the Badgers turn it over. Josie Jewell, from an off the radar two-star recruit to one of the Big Ten's top players of the 2010s.